Hey everyone, I'm here to show you how you can use Helios FX within Lightroom. Let's go. First things first, um, you need to install them within your Lightroom application. So, go to your presets panel, click on the plus icon, click on import presets, look for the folder where you save them, and just select the zip files or um, the folders if you open them already, click on import, just wait some seconds and then they'll show up within your Lightroom on the left side here. Uh, you can open them up and it should look like this. You've got flares for the 24, the 50 EF and RF and the 35 plus additional haze effects. If you're asking yourself why there are two folders, uh, it's super easy and super simple. You have one folder for landscape images, horizontal versions and one for portrait images, vertical images and vertical versions. It's just a way that the masks work within our effects. Um, so you have two versions. So please, whatever type of image you're using, use the right preset for it. Okay, so let me show you something. We've got a landscape image here. We'll go to the right folder. And now you can basically hover over it and see how it looks like. And I'm just gonna quickly apply one of the, the flares. Okay, so it's on the frame now and you might be wondering what to do next. So first things first, you've got to click on the mask tool and then you've got a small little pin here which you can then click to move around the entire flare. Just make sure that you have show edit pins in the bottom left set to always and otherwise you would not be able to see the pins and you couldn't move that. So um, if you don't see the pins, please activate that in the bottom left. Okay, let's move it around, place it somewhere and now that it's there and we like it, we can basically use it as any other mask. We can um, erase certain parts of the flare. We can add more masks to it, meaning more effects, maybe a haze effect um, additionally, and then just like modify any way you want, like any other mask. Quick example, uh, me personally, uh, I'm not the biggest fan. If you can see like the flare in the sky, which normally you, you should not see, so let's just select the entire ring, it's already selected. Click on Subtract, click on Select Sky, and the AI in Lightroom will basically create a mask for you for the sky and subtract that from the entire flare. So now when I move it around, whenever I move it towards the sky, it's gonna disappear, and this will add a bit more realism to it, um, which is um, quite cool. And yeah, it just looks way better now. What you can also do is you can basically increase the opacity, make it a bit yeah, stronger, crazier, or softer, like whatever way you want. Of course, like depending on your image. Um, it really depends on your style and the way your photo looks. Once you've downloaded the presets, um, you will also find a little plugin that we added, um, which gives you more options to customize any of the effects. So let me show you how you can use the plugin. Um, just make sure that the plugin um, is installed correctly and remember that it only works within Lightroom. So let me show you how to install it. Click on File, Plugin Manager, click on Add. Now go to the folder where you put in your or placed your uh, plugin file, click on it, Add Plugin, and now it's installed. Please remember that once you place the plugin in a folder, you cannot move it anywhere else, and otherwise the plugin manager will not be able to find the source file and the plugin won't work. So make sure to place your presets and your plugin somewhere on your hard drive where they can sit and stay without moving them or renaming them. Okay, so now it's installed. We'll click on Done. Make sure our mask is selected. Go to File, Plugin Extras, Helper, and now you can rotate it, flip it, scale it, you just change your settings and click apply. Super simple. Let's close it again. And that's basically it. So we're gonna release more videos in the future on more in-depth ways to edit your flares and your effects. But for now, this is a good starting point for you guys. And I hope you enjoy Helios.